All right, so we're going to talk about uh, some more news that has come out from this horror convention known as Midsummer and Scream. That's where we got all the stuff for Halloween Horror Nights, and it's released some more stuff like, uh, well, I guess Mortal Kombat's always been horror adjacent, and it wasn't really part of that, but there was a trailer that we're going to be talking about now, and that is the trailer for Saw X. Now... A bit of, uh, now, you're probably wondering, you've never, Multi, you have never talked about the Saw movies in full at all. Like, you have never dropped any thoughts on the Saw movies at all. And that's true. Like, I, the only time I've really talked about Saw was about the Spiral trailer, and even then I was like, meh. But the Saw series really ha is kind of touch and go for me. More go than touch. I should word that better. But yeah, this film franchise really doesn't, it, like, it really brought, was the epitome of torture, of just the torture porn era of films. It is a film series that, for lack of a better word, has done really nothing to excite me to come back to it. And this movie also got a, like, also it's kind of a bad sign when your movie um, gets the heebie-jeebies and runs. Basically, this movie was supposed to come out the same day as Five Nights at Freddy's. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that changed. Because I feel like they, like someone at Lionsgate realized, oh shit, that's the same day as Five... They, like, they played chicken with, um, Five Nights and, and Saw were playing chicken with each other. And to the shock of no one, Saw blinks, so now we'll be coming out in September. So, we're more or less, for lack of a better word, because July is almost over, we're basically a month away from a new Saw movie. Is it cool that we're getting a new Saw movie? Yeah. Tobin Bell as John Kramer is one of the best horror characters out there. Um, I'm not disputing that. It's always fun to see Tobin Bell. And clearly, the Saw movies have never... have, uh, have basically, like... And, and I'm going to go more into it with this, too. Is that it's very obvious that the Saw movies have long regretted, the Saw franchise has long regretted killing John and giving him cancer, because they always try to f finagle a way to bring him back. Especially movies like Jigsaw, and... You know, so, yeah, with Jigsaw, they put it as a prequel movie. So, here, it's a movie that, while it is the 10th Saw X is the 10th movie, this movie, however, has nothing, is not a sequel, it's more of an inter-prequel. It's more of an inter-like, inter-prequel part of the universe. It's gotten... That's the thing, is that... <sighs> Sometimes it gets hard to follow the roadmap for Saw. Like, you can uh, you can say that for Texas Chainsaw and Halloween and Hellraiser. You can add Saw up there, too, with, confu you know, with multiple confusing movies. At least Freddy, Jason, and um, Ghostface... All of their movies are just like it's all consecutive. Like let's go, keep going forward. <laughs> but yeah, Saw. Now it's just at, it, this movie should be called Saw 1.5 for a multitude of reasons because it's another lost origin story like Jigsaw was. So let's talk about that move. Uh, this move. Uh, this trailer. Basically, this trailer reveals that Crane, uh, that John uh, went to a special ca um, cancer group to help remove his cancer, but they conned him, and the tumor was never removed, and it only got worse. So, John Kramer is going on a personal vendetta to take out these people and become the Jigsaw we know, like, this is like another major stepping stone for him to be the, uh, the Jigsaw that we know him to be. Like, this is, it, like, this is what happened to John, apparently, right after he walked out of that, that, uh, that bathroom like this is after that and for a multitude of reasons too so this movie um this movie again like i said earlier the movie really has the whole thing going for it of john kramer um of the whole thing of like making john of, of regretting to kill john kramer like that's what it's always been about with these with the saw franchise is that it's all it's constantly regretted killing off John Kramer after a certain amount, because after Kramer dies, it's all downhill. Like, it is just a it is just a magnum opus of suck, and it go, and it's clearly here for kills alone. 
So I c- you can see why there's been always like this thing of making of wanting to go back and trying to catch that fire again. And look, Tobin Bell's here. And even like Tobin Bell's like sitting you can see it on his face, like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> anyway. Am I ma- am I gonna see this movie? That depends. It really depends on if I wanna go see it. Like September's a pretty dry month and it's been a while since I've watched this series and I'm not the biggest saw guy. I just don't like I'm just not a fan of like torture movies, so but who knows? This could this is a solid maybe from me. Plus, the other thing is too, it's cool to see Amanda back. It is cool. That was one that was the best of John's disciples was um, having Amanda in the in the franchise. Like I I personally really liked her and I thought she was a great successor. Um, even if she was a little she was a little more gung ho and violent than John, but the thing of it was was that she brought like a she, she didn't really go into the whole bullshit like John tried to cover. It was like, I'm trying to save your life. This isn't revenge. It's a reawaken. I'm like, shut up, John. This is this is revenge. This is there's no other way around it. But Amanda was just like Amanda at least owned up to the fact that she was kind. She was kind of she was doing this not for revenge. It was more like I do this because I'm a fucking monster. So you know. Above all else, you can hand it, you can really hand it to uh, Amanda to really carry that, uh, really carry John's work and be a, a honest as it is. But yeah, so Saw X. Um, I know a lot of people. This is probably going to make some money. I don't know how much, but um, I will say though that it did the smart thing of running from. And I'm not saying this because I'm not a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm just saying like it was a really good idea to run from Five Nights, to not try to compete with Five Nights at Freddy's, because, yeah, that thing is going to probably make buku amount of money on the budget it ran on, because it's, it's a Blumhouse uh, production, and it's also a video game production of a, vi- of a very well-known franchise. Good or not, that is going to make a buku amount of money, and no one's going to give a shit about Saw. Although, to be fair, I was kind of excited at the thought of doing a hall- of a October double feature and i know a lot of people were excited to like saw and five nights yeah but yeah i guess we could just pre this movie can be official and it, it feels weird also to not have a saw movie in october because every october for like i remember those years where it was like if it's october it must be saw and yeah so it feels weird to have another. I don't even think Jigsaw. I know Spiral wasn't in in October, but I don't think Jigsaw was either. So, um, yeah. But you guys tell me in the comments below. Uh, what do you guys think of this Saw X trailer? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Just comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.